Would you spare with me? Just going to have a cup of tea. Ooh. It's freezing. I've been talking too long. I'm gutted. Oh, that was horrible. Oh dear. Not nice. Hey everyone, um, a really quick video. I'm going to stop putting my head up because I've noticed that my glasses, all the way through, I've already recorded this by the way, um, all the way through the last video my glasses were shining, um, the, the kind of, I'm trying to get the best lighting and I just can't. So you're just going to have to accept my apologies for now. I'm kind of crouching at the moment into my camera. I've got a book in front of the window to try and give my glasses some shade. Um, but the, the natural lighting is the best. So I'm going to have to just research how to not have any shadows in my glasses, etc. I wanted to go through my empties, um, for the last couple of months I haven't recorded one before this is my first empties um I've got empties and the things I'm going to be chucking away that aren't quite empty but have gotten quite old so um I'll start with those things that I'm chucking away um first of all is the unique um magic fiber lashes thing I used it once I reviewed it um I may even just give it away it's not my thing I don't like heavy lashes I just I did not enjoy them at all I know a lot of people are impressed it isn't my thing and I'm really sorry um I gave a very honest opinion but it is my opinion so this is either going to go in my bin within the next month or it's going to be given to somebody if you want to leave your details below I've only used it once um however I do appreciate that not many people like to put anything on their eyes that other people have so that's that's that let me know if you want it. Just give me a comment. The other thing is a broken MUA bonbon blusher that arrived broken in the post. I'm actually just going to get rid of it rather than try and salvage it because I've got I got a replacement sent to me very kindly from um, Superdrug because that it was their error. So that's going in the bin as well. Um, another thing that has kind of gone off, I didn't finish using it, is the L'Occitane Creme Ultra Rich. Uh, there's a uh, well, the ultra rich face cream. So I was reading the French for it. Um, it's only a little tester pot. I got it, I can't remember why I got it actually. I really like their shea butter products, and I'll get onto that in a bit later. But um, although oh, that doesn't smell very good, I think it's probably gone off. Um, this I did use it a little bit, but it's very thick. It just reminds me of Nivea face cream, quite thick. Um, it wasn't my thing. I do love this stuff, but it wasn't great, so I didn't finish it, and that's going in the bin. Um, another thing I didn't finish and I really didn't like was this Arbon Easy on the Eyes Eye Makeup Remover. Um, you will see a lot of Arbon features uh, products featured um, over the next couple of months because I did um, sign up as um, a preferred client. And I did order a lot of stuff. I've got a lot of friends that were consultants, so I wanted to support them. But... Um, my feelings on them, I'll tell you about that in a bit because I have used quite a lot of it and I have finished it, so I have given it a really good go. Um, this I didn't like, it's gone really funny, it's meant to be one of those dual, um, I've kind of shaken it up a bit now, it's meant to be a dual eye makeup, it wasn't nice, it didn't come off easy, I, I didn't find it particularly good and I've got others that I'll talk about in the future when I finish them <laughs> that I'll talk to you about. So um, another product of theirs that I didn't finish um, was this. I just couldn't get any more out um, with the pump and it doesn't, let's see what it says. Yeah, it's a 12 months. I mean, I haven't had it 12 months, but I wasn't too keen on it anyway, this shea butter. There's something about the smell that wasn't quite, it was a bit too vanilla-y and chocolatey for me, which I'm not keen on. Um, I did use quite a lot of it because I do use a lot of, body lotions and this came as a duo with some hand wash now that was perfect really really liked that hand wash it would lath lathered up really well um i had to throw the bottle away because of oh, lots of things happened that were wrong which weren't great so got rid of that bottle and put it into and distributed it into our hand pump that's for the bathroom but this was it was all right it was quite thick and luxurious but it was okay um and my final thing that i've not quite finished but um, it's um, probably, um, I've sort of finished it, I just couldn't get any more out, was this cooling foot cream. I actually really enjoyed this. It did help my feet. It felt really good on my feet and I use lots of foot creams and this is one of the better ones I've used so far. Um, I'm currently just, I've got another one of these actually, so um, I'm just gonna just probably try and squeeze the last bit out of this and um, 
I've, I'm using the Hill Genius at the moment, which is okay. Um, again, nothing to write home to mum about yet, but it's a good, it's a, it's an okay product. Um, but I really wanted to just get onto my empties. Um, so um, starting with um, the things that I think there's quite a few that I'm going to repurchase actually, but um, I will talk about ones that I've got in maybe some beauty boxes because I do use the stuff and lots of people don't and I do um, I got this Nip and Fab um, CC Fix Eye Cream I really enjoyed this there wasn't a lot in it though I felt like I used it quite quickly um, I thought it was really nice I thought it had a lovely pink undertone um, to it so quite a cool eye fix it was in the colour light I really enjoyed it and I would recommend it and when I finish my next concealer, I'm going to think about repurchasing it. Now, I don't know how much it costs, so I will have a look. I don't think it's cheap, um, but it was good. So um, it is something I would recommend. I don't know whether I'll repurchase it yet, but I might do in the future. Um, another thing I got in, I think, I think that, I can't remember what that came in, but this certainly came in my, um, oh gosh, what are they called? Oh, goodness me, what are they called? Love Me Beauty. No, it wasn't Love Me Beauty. You Beauty Discovery Box. That's what it came in. And I got two of these little things and I've got through them and it is one of the most stunning serums I've used. My favourite serum of all time is the Biotherm Blue Therapy um, Serum. Gorgeous. Absolutely great serum and I'm gutted that it's not sold in the UK anymore. It's really expensive and I was really lucky to have quite a few little samples of it. So therefore I got through that and, and I like the little samples of serum. I think they work really well. Got through these recently and this has got the most stunning glow when you apply. It's like not just a serum, it's also kind of a a skin luminizer, which is actually what it says. It's a it's a lumina uh, skin idealizer serum. Yeah, it's like a luminizer. Gorgeous, definitely going to repurchase a um, repurchase again however I don't think I really want to have the bigger pots because I like to try lots of serums don't know whether that's any good for my skin I'm currently using the skin pep one that came in my December glossy box so we'll see we'll see um, but this is brilliant definitely will repurchase I'll just show you a bit better don't know whether it's focus so yeah that's great that was my um, beauty box uh, empties I'll have a few more next month as well so something that I will always repurchase will always be in my within my products. My favourite always is my L'Occitane um, hand cream. This is the Shea Butter Original. I got this for Christmas off my friend with the key last year. I don't know if anybody's seen it. There's like a, a key that you put inside so you can actually really squeeze all the product out so it goes really thin like this and you get everything out of it. Um, they're not the easiest bottles to squeeze because they're made out of tin rather than plastic. Um, these are the best hand creams ever. My hands have never felt softer. I do suffer with a bit of dry skin during the winter right here. It has been really bad and I have been using this. Um, and I don't know whether it'd be worse if I wasn't using this, but I've managed to kind of keep it at bay and quite soft, but it's still quite itchy. So... Um, I think it's because I've been using some scented hand creams. This is scented but not highly scented, so I prefer this one than the others. So definitely will repurchase. Will always be my favourite hand cream until anything else replaces it. And I have so far not met any other hand cream. Even, you know, I've been given the um, um, oh, Soap and Glory, I can't remember what it's called, Hand Dream or Dream Cream, I don't know. But... It's still not as good as this. Best hand cream ever. And the cost of it is, is really expensive. I mean, it's like £19 for a tube that size. However, it took me a year to get through this. So that's about, what, two pound less than £2 a month on hand cream, which isn't too bad. So if you put it that way, I put, and I'll definitely be repurchasing. I always do. I always get it as a present, if, if nothing else. Um, I don't know whether you've noticed, but I have a new hair colour. Um, I am red now. Uh, I don't know whether you can see it in this light. I dyed my hair with this Olea 3.6 Deep Cherry. This is um, a new product that's come to the market recently. It comes in a really bulky box. 
However, um, I mean, the colour's been okay. It, it does come out every time I wash it, but that could just be my hair. Um, the other thing that could just be my hair was that it was really dry in my hair, and I felt like my hair wasn't being conditioned, whereas with some of the other ones, I think I use a Nutrice one normally. It's Garnier as well, which is weird. Um, the smell was good. It wasn't that horrible smell, but one of the others doesn't have a horrible smell as well. So um, it was all right, uh, and... My hair's quite a nice colour, but I wouldn't say it was it was the nicest feeling. So, would I recommend it? Maybe. Uh, based on smell alone, if you really hate the smell, yeah, I would definitely give it a go. My hair is particularly absorbent. It's really thick, and it's currently the longest it's ever been. So, um, I'm not sure if I can give you the right kind of recommendation, because my hair is going to be quite different to a lot of people. If you do have curly hair like mine, this has been good in terms of colour, but... Um, uh, only time will tell, I'll let you know. Um, another hair product, I don't know whether I'll repurchase that either, I'm not sure. Um, another hair product, well, two, the next two are hair products, um, and they are in my cupboard at the moment. I've bought quite a lot of them because they're the only things that I seem to find work. I've tried quite a number of things, but the first one is Charles Worthington Curl Defining Spray. It's not a sea salt spray, which actually works really well in my hair. It's specific for getting rid of fizz, frizz frizz rather than fizz and um, it does what it says it makes your hair um, kind of sculpted when you've got curly hair it's really good I can't really say much more about it I put it as soon as I've washed or wet my hair I put in some keratin tiny tiny drop of keratin oil um, and then I put this on and then I finish it off with a cream and then I let it dry naturally that's how my hair works I know that every curl is different and um, but for me this is the way that I get the best out of my curls so this is meant to last something like 15 16 hours which is brilliant 18 hours sorry love it love this and I will always repurchase it and I hope they don't discontinue it because a lot of the hair products I've, I use seem to discontinue I think it's because my hair is just maybe quite extraordinary I don't know um, however I do use straight after I've used that I put on quite a lot actually of this naked style gorgeous curl cream it something about it is really I think it's because it's silicon free it works really well on my hair doesn't make it crispy and um, it's the best defining for my curl to keep it soft and natural rather than like when we used to use mousse in the 90s. I don't know if anybody remembers that. So yeah, they are um, my two go-to products for my hair. I finished them. I've finished a couple actually this month and I will continue to buy it as long as it is on the shelves. Um, I'm going to quickly go on to my Arbonne products because actually there's a couple that are the same and I've got some left, so I'm still using them. I haven't noticed a difference. They're really expensive. Um... I haven't noticed that they're better or worse than things that are cheaper or more expensive. I feel like all face creams are quite similar. I, I don't know. I don't have wrinkles that I can compare it to. Um, maybe that's because I've been using these creams. I do use moisturiser and serum every single day. Um, and night time quite a lot of the time and um, this was the toner there was a travel size this size as well I finished the travel size uh, this is really good for traveling actually um, this was you could either spray it on your face you could use it as a setter as well um, or you can use it with a cotton pad, a cotton pad um, to, to just put on your face it was quite nice it didn't have a very pleasant smell though and neither does any of their um, RE9 products if I'm honest and I don't know whether that's the natural scent of what's in them I just don't think they're very good in terms of smell and um, this is the serum it was okay again um, a lot of their RE9 advanced products are quite intensive and you can definitely feel that when you put the serum on it makes your skin tingle a lot of people find that they're very very sensitive to this even though there's nothing in there that can trigger anything um, for me I was okay the first application was a bit tingly but after that I was fine but I still didn't think it was amazing. I didn't think it was fantastic. I didn't feel like my skin was particularly amazing. Um, so I don't think I'll be repurchasing it, but I do have quite a lot of it left. Um, so yeah, um, I also have 
something that I definitely will be repurchasing and I do still have some left. This was the first one I bought. It lasted me eight months between me and my partner, so that's really good. This is their makeup primer. Comes in a pot like this. Um, I wouldn't say their packaging was particularly great. Um, they've gone rounder, actually. This is the square bottle, but they've, they've gone into a round. Actually, you can see inside it's round. I think they've just taken it into that. This is just a waste of packaging. Um, it's okay. It's okay. I wish I could give you more than that, but I can't. Um, in terms of packaging, anyway. However, the primer is brilliant and I've tried um, high-end primers and this matches up to if not better and it's a good price it's 26 pounds for a um, 30 mil primer it's actually really really good um, it competes really well Smashbox I wasn't keen on this is much better than Smashbox primer and also I think it's even better than um, uh, Benefit so um i will i'm gonna maybe try when i run out of this the laura mercy one although i did and i wasn't that keen i did have a primer from hers and i didn't think it was great so yeah i'll i'll continue to use this until it finishes after this i don't know whether i'll repurchase it i want to try something else first but this is probably going to be um i'll probably go back to this it is very very good and you don't need much um a couple of kind of body stuff and that's it really um so firstly um dove deodorant i moved on to roller ball deodorants uh, a few years ago i used to use sprays i started to find that I was getting very, very irritated under my armpits i was using dove spray as well so it wasn't just that and i moved on to roller balls the dove version i found that they were much better for me not everybody likes them but this particular scent was really nice and I would I would recommend this and I will repurchase because it's my favourite one. And finally, um, this is a recommended product which I'll be repurchasing definitely. This is the West Lab Epsom Salts. Um, they are completely pure chemically. Um, they what's really funny is I didn't find it I didn't find it felt different when I got in the bath when I was using it, but now it's not in my bath. I do notice there's a difference um, so I'm definitely going to get it I got this from TK Maxx and um, usually it's £5.75 for a kilogram but I got this for £3.99 which is what a £1.76 saving which isn't a lot actually and I've got eight baths out of it and that's probably £3.99 is about the cost you're paying for a bath bomb and I got more baths out of it and um, what it says is for this one if you have if you're using it for general well-being you only need 100 grams so you get 10 baths one to 200 grams out of it so you get about 10 baths out of it but if you wanted it for pure muscle relaxation then you use half of the bag or a full kilogram so that and that's for a regular size bath and ours is actually quite a lot bigger so um i haven't used it for that reason i don't need to use it but i did use it for my partner um who said that they did feel better but baths make them feel better anyway but i will definitely be getting these they were recommended by mrs ginger from mrs ginger's channel um which i'll link below and yeah i really enjoyed these and i will be repurchasing so uh -uh, just bear with me just going to have a cup of tea Ooh. Is freezing. I've been talking too long. I'm gutted. Oh, that was horrible. Oh dear. Not nice. Uh, I'm going to be doing my favourites <laughs> now. Um, thank you so much for sticking with me in 2014. I really do hope that you've had a good one and I look forward to spending some more time with you guys and recording more videos for you. Better ones, hopefully with better lighting and better everything um in the new year let me know what kind of thing you like i know that a lot of you have been enjoying my one palette one looks i'm going to continue doing those because i have quite a few palettes to get through um and um i'm gonna try and put some sort of sort of structure into uploading my videos i know that a lot of bloggers and people who blog and vlog tend to have set days on when they put their video blogs on and i think that would work really well for me so i may start doing that in the future um, and I might work out which days are the best to go up and then I can at least bulk uh, I can do some bulk ones and maybe some ad hoc ones as well I won't be vlogging anymore I really did enjoy vlogmas and I think a lot of people enjoyed it as well but it is quite a lot of hard work um, I might do it in the middle of the year I think there's a June one but it was I suppose it was quite taxing doing it all the time and I see I've kind of found myself 
failing to do it at the end of the month um, in December because you haven't seen one for a while. So I enjoyed it at the time and it was really fun and I really liked watching them. But I have to say, I don't think I'll be doing it again. So um, I might do the odd vlog here and there if there's any special occasions coming up, especially for things like Style XL, which is coming up in the summer and uh, a couple of other bits and bobs that are coming up. So you may see me vlog again, but probably not in the future. Um, but yeah, my next video will be my favourites from December and I look forward to speaking to you all again soon.